What's wrong with you? Bro, let's go. Converted. <laughs> Converted. Stacy Stan. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Can't even cap. It's only the tip of the iceberg, buddy. Uh, but, I don't know. I thought I'd uh, celebrate my first 250 ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Dude, yeah. this is... This is uh... So this is the highest you've ever been in all yeah, of Maple my, Story. I've never played this much. Took a break, came back. Our last progression was like two. I think I was like two forty-five. Yeah. And made a lot of gains, um, but uh, this is a big achievement. I mean, uh, been getting. I have like a bunch of WAPs, EXP coupons, uh, nodes, more droplets. You know, cleared will. Lucid, gonna start Damn. trying to do uh, H Lucid. So. Damn, you made hella progress, yeah. Threads of Fate was yeah. worth it, right? Dude, so worth it. I have, <laughs> uh, I hit 5k Legion. Okay, okay, you're almost there. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, hit, uh, what was it? I got the mage. Where is it? I got three mages to 120. I got Shad to 140, I think. So almost at level three there. Yeah. Um, working on the arc level three. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. Cause I was looking at a bunch of um, DPS charts basically. And they were like, yeah, like arc puts in a lot of like final damage for a lot of people's numbers. So I was like, all right, I'll get, I'll get arc up there, but. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a mandatory link. Everybody uses it. And then I got pretty lucky for the last time really um, it's a 30, 30 boss, boss epic. on epic yeah, yeah 30. holy and i hit the uh where, where is he? the large drop rate damn yes so pretty and it's pretty popping nice. off yeah so my first boss and a large so i've been hella getting fams like i had after a couple wops i think i had uh, it was like 400 of each of these guys, like 400 of him, 400 of this, but I didn't, uh, didn't get anything. But it's all right. Can't complain. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. At least you have one one boss so far. You'll get more eventually. So, But that's huge, yeah, should I, dude. Should I pop this? Uh, up to you. Do you want? Are you going to waiting for anything or no? No. I was... Your guild's not coming? Oh, uh, what, my guild? Was yeah, your guild's, guild? not, your guild's not pulling up for the... I, I probably should. I probably should. Uh, I'm going to ask the guild to see if anyone wants to celebrate with me. I don't know where, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anyone wants to come here. Yeah, yeah every, up. everybody pull up to his channel. What channel are you in? Uh, channel 6. Channel 6. TP to Buck Fox. Everybody yeah. go, 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 I'm go, go. Aqua Road. Two palm trees. Yeah, everybody go celebrate with him. Let's see who shows up first. Or maybe all these fucking losers are grinding. Too busy. I know. Fuck them. <laughs> hey, we got one. There you go. Oh, the homies. Oh, They're pulling go. up. Elite. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Best Phantom in A. Relax, buddy. Relax. Relax. Didn't you boom your hat on stream? Relax. Can't be number one phantom unless he's clearing BM and sub 20. True, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, MVP. Fuck an MVP, bro. Damn. Where's this? Bro, the MVP there. Snakes. Oh, no, you Yo. snakes. You should have saved the MVP Yo. for me. What are you guys doing? Damn, the homies, man. Real ones. Bro. Yeah, I always thought 250 was so far away, but it uh, it came faster than I thought, like 30% of totem. Yeah, nah, dude, trust. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not trying to say this in like a mean way, but like, yeah, they like they make it easier and easier every like main patch. So 
but yeah, yeah it's not as bad as I you don't think mind that at all yeah no no i mean it's good for everybody like just free levels So what's next? I mean, that was that was gonna be kind of my question, right? I hit seventeen everything, got that superior belt, two line everything for damage. Yeah. Um, extra doms. I got all almost full drop. Like I when I farm, it's hundred. I think it's how many lines? Let me think. Have any doubles have every, or? No, no, no double. I think it's a hundred sixty or a hundred eighty. Yeah, so yeah, 80 yeah. drop, 100 meso, and then I have uh, extra drop, I think 3 extra drop, mm -hmm. so I can I go to like 260 with my fam. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll pop it in one sec, guys. But, um, and so I, I, I guess my question is, I really want to get arcane now. So, okay. is it better to train in full drop gear if I want to get nodes and droplets or should i still keep the 180 uh no 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 always train with meso and drop gear on it, it's not worth even if i want even if i want uh more droplets no 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 it's not it's never worth okay. like sacrificing the meso the meso is right. actually like more important long term so i was gonna say because uh i do like the mesas i also hella um underestimated how expensive some of the gear is because uh i tried star forcing um the sweet water pendant and oh my god i like blew like two bills so fast and i didn't even get a 17 so that shit fucking sucked yeah it's a 160 item 160 items are way more expensive it, yeah it's fucking expensive so arcanes i see why they're so expensive mm -hmm. yeah and then the arcanes are even more so well I'm going to do it. Boom. Congratulations, man. Thank you. you. Thank you. I know. Now now the real, real game starts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now it begins. The, the real annoying part, because... Now you're just going to be saving and saving and saving and waiting for events literally every time. So I guess from here, I've been <laughs> down the Smegas. Oh, oh I just Smega 2 actually. The number 3. Grat. Dude, you're slowly trying to surpass my buck, aren't you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost there. Yeah, you're almost there. <laughs> Another 50 levels to go, and then maybe. Oh, you could get the 250 chair now, actually. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do yeah. Do I have to accept the quest for that? I th yeah, it's right there. Everybody fame him. Hold up, I'll come back. Yeah. Come back. So you haven't ran H roll yet? Is that what you were saying? Uh, H yeah. So I I actually tried running. Uh, I actually tried running H uh, lucid in my party and. We barely, like, we, we actually couldn't even get past P1. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Yeah. But we, I feel like we were way, way fucking strong. Um, but I, I feel like we could do it this week. Um, but yeah. Uh, if I, if we can clear H Lucid, then do you think that we could start running, like, H Lomian as a party? Uh, yeah. H, if you could do party H Lucid, H, if you could do party H Lucid, you could do H well, uh, H Lomian as well. All, all, okay. all four of those together, so. Oh, yeah. Definitely worth running. Because, yeah, Will's getting a lot easier. Like, we actually, it was funny, our first Will clear, we were, um, our party leader was like, 
we said let's run a practice no guild skills guy fucking uh goes into regular not practice mode <laughs> and we're like all right i guess we're just fucking going fucking for idiot. it and we ended up clearing with no guild skills and you've uh, never practiced this before and you cleared uh well we did we were practicing but we never like ran like the full attempt like yeah and then we and then we ended up clearing it and then after that we've cleared the last two weeks pretty easy uh we like i think the first prog sesh we uh, you and i talked about like kind of tips on p2 and stuff and yeah like the whole all of us can go through p2 a lot easier mm -hmm. and then now we just stack a lot like all our lives for p3 and just kind of brute force it because like half the time we can't see like what the eyes are yeah yeah, yeah. so um getting better for that because obviously h will will be like way harder um oh another thing for p3 is uh you know you know the the pattern for the eyes it always alternates so it's like if you see a yellow oh, okay. the next one's white so oh okay yeah. So yeah, like once you see the first one, you don't even have to really think about it. Yeah, the only time the pattern resets is when it's bound. So like, let's say it does white, and then you bind it. When it comes out of bind, uh, it could do either do white or yellow. So okay, that's great to know. Um, so I guess at this point, um, so I hit two fifty, clearing like normal lucid, normal will. Uh, hopefully H, uh, lucid this week. Mm -hmm. then we could start doing h low main and then you think we could do h will then yeah 100 percent. h will h low man uh h lucid they're all that same tier like if the party can clear lucid and will you could do h low main you guys could also probably do uh you probably don't even need your whole party but you could do normal gloom normal normal dark now too when you're 255 so 255 is that like when i don't do reduce damage yeah, you'll be doing reduced damage, but maybe you'll do it like when you're 255, I guess. Okay. So. Gloom, you guys could probably cool. already do, but Darknell, Darknell's a little harder. Dunkle, Dunkle's intimidating, dude. Yeah, also, it's a level 265 boss, so like, you need to be oh, pretty sure. high level to do like normal damage to it. Um, When do I unlock like Cernium and stuff? 260. So I think it's what I go, I stay at VC3 until like what, 255 and then I go to Labyrinth? Uh, well, you could go to Labyrinth now. Like you've unlocked oh. Labyrinth at 250. So okay. uh, there's there's that you should do. You should do the pre-quest for that shit. Have fun. That shit's like the worst thing in the whole game. <laughs> um, and then 255, you go to Lumina. But just stay in VC3 until 255. Don't bother training in Lab because Lab is like really shit layouts. It's like big square maps. Which is not I good think, for um, I was talking to Brando, and he was saying that he job changed to uh, Cannon Master to train at Lab. There's yeah, there's no point. Just stay in in Moonbridge. Just three. skip Lab. Yeah. Sure, sure. So do that till two fifty five, and then go to Limina. Yeah, okay. and then Limina training is very, very good for Buck. Very, very good. I can't wait. Very my, I mean, long honestly, rectangle maps. Five. Oh, yeah, I was doing. I actually checked my rates. Uh, from VC2 versus VC3, and it's like, mm, like not that big of a difference. So oftentimes, like if uh, VC3 isn't, if I like, it's too hard to find a map. I'll just go with that VC2 map we looked at last time, and yeah, the rates are like maybe a hundred mil worse. Mm -hmm. So it's totally worth. Yeah, the Lamina rates will be, they'll be way better because there's a map called uh, World Sorrow Depths One, Two, and Three. Ideally, you want to go to two. It's the best uh, one. Most mobs. And that shit is so free for Buck. You could just advance dash across the whole map. And like uh, Lord of the Deep just like kills pretty much everything. So, And it's like never taken that map. There's usually actually burning there. That's how like how, how empty it is. That's how it is. BC2 is. It's like 100% burning. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's that's awesome. What? So then um, I guess for goals for saving money like i guess one thing that i had on my mind was um so 21 and slash 22 would be my next step since everything's 17 not counting arcanes right because i yep. think i did the math let's say i run h lucid you said claws and fans drop pretty often so hopefully yeah i'll replace this with a real one yeah i think it's I, worth I, waiting to get a drop uh to get a weapon I, drop how much is it on average to just like 17 a 
arcane? Uh, probably at least five bill. It's pretty expensive. That is, but it's also less than what I thought it was. Yeah, that's on an event. So, like on oh. a five, ten, fifteen, you're looking at like five bill. Five bill per item. So I need to save up at least, let's say, twenty five by shining. Because I think by shining, I should have four arcane or arcane pieces if I did the math right. Yeah. So if I get a weapon drop, I'll have enough for one from Will and then two from Lucid. So that's four. So that's like 20 bill. Yeah, yeah. Someone in, in chat saying like seems low more like eight to 10, but I don't I don't think so. I don't think it'll be eight to 10. Cause like from my experience, starring my arcades and then starring weapons on all of my mules, like I probably averaged like five bill per weapon. So that's just my opinion, but yeah. Um, okay, that's a, a good goal to keep in mind, and I'll tell my party if we can clear H Lucid, um, then we can definitely attempt H Will, H Lomian. Uh, H Will, it's it's all the, they're all the same boss, like the mechanics don't change at all, it's like just more HP, right? It's just tankier, yeah, it's all the same boss, so right, like you guys could definitely do it, it'll just you know, obviously be slower, and then you'll probably actually have to learn P3, like uh dodging shit and cleansing and and like watching yeah, for the how push does the not work in p3 like okay so like, i never understood how to clear it i just kind of i dps will the whole time so i never yeah i did the same shit back then and i just <laughs> hoped my party would cleanse but yeah so how p3 will works is just naturally in the phase webs will spawn in i don't remember right. exact the the exact interval that a web will spawn in but web spawn in let's just say every 10 seconds a web spawns in and then eventually, um, if nobody cleanses the webs, the whole map will be covered with, in, with webs, which means like you can't attack, you'll be completely sealed, and you'll just everybody will die out. Um, but to to cleanse the webs, you know how there's like a moonlight and well, like in P1 you switch rooms, and P2 it allows you to heal, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the moonlight in P3, uh, when you cast your moonlight. It gives you for like five seconds the ability to cleanse two webs. So you press your moonlight, you'll be glowing golden around you. And then you could just jump into two webs and then they'll disappear. Oh, you jump into it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Or walk into it. You just have to like in, like go next to it and then it, they'll disappear. And then, um, to but to gain moonlight in P3, you have to dodge things. Like everything. Oh, like not get hit. Yeah. Okay. The more you get hit, the the every time you get hit, it freezes your moonlight gain. And then every time you get hit by one of the red balls that come out of the eyes, uh, it takes away from your moonlight. So it actually goes down. Okay. That, I mean, I, I've done pretty well on Will because um, with advanced dash and then also the um, the spiral assault, mm -hmm. like I can just, I just dash like back and forth from him. Kind of like, uh, I, I find him like Golux where I just stand right in the middle and just go yeah. back and forth. Yeah, so no, that that's, that's, that's exactly right. Well. That is yeah, exactly I don't right, get yeah. hit like too bad. Thank you, Jared. Thanks for the um, second month. So buddy. really, it's just for me. It's just crush and wops. Go to uh, get the two fifty five. Go live in a keep farming. Rack up at least twenty bill. I max out these two level twenty in I think three and four days. Mm -hmm. So arcane power is coming along. Um, and then from there, I, I have arcanes, and then what? It's just kind of suiting up uh like prepping a boss meal or like what's kind of uh goal so that? Th that's when you got to decide whether like okay how far do i want to get my buck right because mm -hmm. once you're like 21s on your stuff that's when you're gonna start looking at like okay i'm gonna need at least like 10 bill per item to like get to like right. 21 and shit so it's up to you. You could either be like, okay, do I, am I interested in the later game content potentially becoming end game or do I want to try other classes? So either option is completely fine, but you just got to understand what either option comes with. So like, let's say you, you're more, let's say you like look at end game bosses and you're like, Hey, like I want to do black mage one day. I want to liberate. Then you got to be like, okay, um, I'm going to accept that my gains are not like, going to be fast and they're always, they're only going to be on events and this is going to take like many months to like get get to the point that i want to be at so right. 
yeah, it's up to you if you if you if you're like okay with that kind of progression where you're gonna have to wait a long time, or you could be like, nah, fuck that. Like I wanna I wanna feel like I'm making progress every single event. Like every single time I have like you know twenty thirty bill, I wanna feel like I'm making like a lot of progress with that. Then you like go play other characters and then jump your money on other characters, which is also fine because you know the more you have strong characters on your accounts, the more money you can make total. But then you'll also be limited because now your main is just put on pause every time you do that. So that's true. Last time you you told me like I know node income is like a huge thing, and so I've just been kind of saving them um, and using them. Like I maxed a couple skills on my main. I have like a hundred right now. I do. I mean, personally, I do want to go like it, like do the tenny bosses and you know potentially do BM and you know liberate. That'd be super cool. Mm -hmm. Um. And I know like the money income will get way better, not only once I get to Limina, but also come post destiny, right? Like my rates just naturally get better because the class is better and boss crystal changes. Um, and so I, I don't know, back then uh, hearing like 10 bill was a lot. And actually now it's like, oh, like that, that's not bad. And I can see like, okay, like I have a lot of reinforced like earrings. I have my first like backup superior yeah obviously the cra backup so i can see like i get these to 21 get these to 21. um i still haven't gotten my connor ring uh, since we last talked to so kind of unlucky kinda, yeah peanut kind of hates me man yeah um Is you it, have a green you say you do? okay yeah yeah i actually just got this and i got it to a item uh to item drop so I yeah that thing's like drop the best for drop gear yeah i didn't really think about it like greed pendant was increased for gear but that applies to like pino and like mm -hmm. potentially slime right yeah and like helix and shit yeah so definitely super i'm glad i i teared this up i remember last time someone said to do this i'm like sick um and then i end up turning this just like a quick drop yeah do you know if the boxes like the weapon boxes for arcane is that coming at destiny or not confirmed uh, I believe it is coming at Destiny, yeah. So, like, they're upping the the chance to get Arcane Drops, yeah. Because right now, uh, how it is is, like, I think I think it's, like, 10 times the chance to get a weapon than anything else. So, like, that's why you see in a lot of endgame uh, end people's, like, inventories, it's just, like, all weapons. They have, like, 10 weapons and, like, no armor. And, uh, but they're making it so that the armor chance to drop is equal to the weapons so like you'll probably see a lot more armor drops than usual but the weapon is the same chance to drop so it's not it's not gonna be like a box and then i get a pick that's uh I, I the box is for the armors and then the weapon you only have one weapon uh, right so oh, okay got it i got it got it okay well hopefully i can get you know super lucker dog first h lucid run and then i get a weapon and then i don't even have to worry about it honestly i think there's a pretty high chance you'll get a weapon <laughs> drop like i would i would wait as long as you can before you buy a weapon like i feel like th it, there's a higher chance that you'll get a weapon than you won't get a weapon okay yeah i mean i'm i'm, I'm hoping for it because you gave me hope you're saying claws and fans drop the most in our entire party i'm the only claw user and knuckle like, oh knuckle yeah yeah technically, yeah it says claw, but it is a knuckle, yeah. Wait, it says claw? Yeah. What it's the fuck? What the? I actually never knew that. That's such yeah. a scam. It. They even, I think even the, like, uh, Utgard ones say that shit, too. What the? That's actually <laughs> crazy. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, I've seen so many knuckles and fans. Like, I swear those two, and... Mercedes weapons, dual bow guns. I see those shit, that shit all the time. Not the dual bow guns. Yeah. <laughs> that shit drops hella. Yeah, I fucking, I need one. That'd be huge. Then I can actually, like, work on that. Because I guess from here, right, I, I think leveling and saving money is pretty straightforward. Yeah, it is. It, it's um, all the same shit you've been doing. But is the big jump from 30k to, like, 40k plus, is that just going, like, 21, 22s? uh yeah pretty much like that would that would be the the better way to do it because technically you could you could hit like 40k if you just like three line all your gear 
and like have a ton of legion and your links and shit are really good which is like okay that's one way to hit 40k but it's not a good way to hit 40k because a lot of your gear is a either going to get replaced like your apps are going to get replaced b right. uh you're going to transfer over the stars so you're going to lose the pot anyways right. and c pots don't give you as much damage as stars right so the better I, way to get to 40k is through star force i definitely saw it because someone like smega their three line 22 superior belt but it was three line in and it still gave me like 500k range i was like holy shit exactly just because of the raw attack it has so yeah um well, since I have 96 visual and then come Destiny, I'll get a 40% visual bonus because they're changing my passive. Mm -hmm. Say at that point, I should fix my emblem then because I feel like I might be over on IED. Uh, honestly, you can keep your emblem should... for a while Uh, because I don't think you have any... You only have like one IED fam, right? Or two? Like 15%? Uh, I have two 15s and yeah. then a 30 boss. Yeah. So keep in mind you have event buff, right? So oh that's true that's so you true. might still need the ID. ID will help you for a long time until you're at like ak legion basically how yeah, much does uh this give you okay like one oh, you're almost a mil range yeah god damn okay but yeah like you said the the int one gave you like 500 yeah so, so like double. Yeah. yeah that just goes to show like most of it is just the attack, like not even just a pot difference. That's fair. Yeah, the attacks. Yeah, that that's why I know it's like starring, and that's why I was like, yeah, this like this. I know. Um, I was like throwing flames, and I actually got an Arcarian one. It was like okay, I think it was like a one hundred three, and then I hit it on my first one, so I was like, that's fine because potentially we could swap this out with the Dawn pendant, right? Yeah, you could. You could. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Like. I think a lot of people will see that flame and be like, what the fuck are you doing that? That's not a good transpose. But in reality, like, it's not make or break. And uh, if we're talking true endgame, it gets replaced by source anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I know Don, like, the mark is replacing the tattoo because you said to keep these at, like, pretty much 17, right? Yeah, you don't gotta worry about it. You can, those both those both get replaced anyways. The the one that like you should probably start is your monocle, because the right. others you could just get the dawn set. But um, yeah, the monocle is already it has a really good transpose, and uh, you could just keep that. Okay, so keep the like with this like is it worth the tear up and just two line to replace this drop one? Yeah, you could. You could. For like a damage gear, you could. It's yeah, not it's okay. not gonna cost too much, it's free damage. You already have it transposed, so and it's fifteen, so might as well. Alright, fair enough. I'll just like throw like extra cubes. And then I think well, let me think, because I have one, two, three, three drop rings, two drop pendants. It's drop Euros, gearing, guys, it's not dollars. And it's then Euros. One drop on the face. So I'm missing two pieces of drop, so it's actually forty percent. Is it worth it just make like an extra um like power crystal and then that way i can have like full drop for bosses or is that something i shouldn't really worry about right now uh you could yeah you could getting like 200 drop on gear for when you boss like w towards the end of the boss especially when we get loot rooms right because everybody could just switch to That's drop here nice. yeah. yeah you could just switch your 200 drop That's what uh, everybody end game like we all have that we all have 200 drop so it's definitely something you could look into I wouldn't say it's like too high priority right now, but if you want to go for it, not a bad investment. So what would you say priority gear wise is for me? Cause I know like I'm chilling right now. Like I'm strong enough to do like last time you told me hit 250, work on Legion, which I have been mm -hmm. um, like, I, I just kind of sat down a couple days and ooh, nice five piece. Um, it hit the 5k. Obviously I want 6k so I can get that last uh row here mm -hmm. but is it worth to just sit here at 250 and then go for 6k and then stop there like what are your kind of thoughts because like obviously i can go one way or that i could just sit on the buck or go on my like or do legion for a while uh honestly i think the best investment of your time is 
I'm looking at it. Yeah, go hit like uh, it's it's fine. It's no big deal. Go hit um, <coughs> two fifty five just so you could unlock Lamina because it's a really okay. good area for you. You'll obviously make money along the way, and then right. I would go back and just hyper focus your Legion even higher than six k, like like seven five. Yeah, like seven five or even eight k. But like because Destiny's gonna be another big event that's gonna be good for your Legion too. So like, just try to keep doing your Legion. But like, uh, obviously, if you get bored do something else but in terms of efficiency i think legion is because legion is like one of those things that you can't get weaker at, at all because you could save 20 bill and potentially get nothing but legion like every hour every hour you put into your legion you will get stronger so yeah i actually just finished buying out every bonk pot for yeah uh for this event and for the punch king one i after next week i'll have eight two ten bonks and i'm gonna hit my da to 210 but i saw destiny has a lot of bonks too so i'm, I'm not really too stressed but okay i think uh that makes it a little easier um a little easier for me now i know what to do like attempt the harder bosses with my party mm -hmm. 255 and then uh well the nice part is a lot of the the characters that i have to do that i'm missing for legion they're all getting buffed for Destiny since it's like all the Explorer Warriors, Dual Blade, um, and then AB. Secondly, Sickness Knights, but uh, I haven't done the, uh, those aren't getting touched for a while. Yeah. So that will be nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's exactly right. So in terms of like what's next and for bossing, like when you're at this point, you're doing H Lucid, H Well, H Lomian, potentially like Normal Gloom, and then like maybe normal dark now uh the next step after that is pretty hard so you're gonna be at this point for quite a while like the next step after that would probably be like getting into like varus hella or um you know splitting your party instead of a party of six you could maybe do like a party of three so you get like more loot the, the rotation is quicker um oh, that's fair. yeah but like get reaching that point is is gonna be a while so i would do your legion because that'll help your whole account be really strong. And um, and uh, it'll make your buck really strong too. And then you're, you're, you're saving money anyways. Like I think you still need to do your totems on your buck every month if you can. And then just save your money for like big events. Because you're not going to be making easy gains anymore. No, I definitely want to save. Uh, this is the most totems I've done. I think I have like maybe a week until summer... Uh, summer semester starts but yeah it's gonna be pretty light i mean i crushing totems isn't as bad as it used to be for me and especially come destiny it'll be way better mm -hmm. yeah that that's how it is like it the game is very like logarithmic progression at first like it's slow but once you have like your your character strong and you like have legion built up grinding is just so easy like it's so brain dead and then, and then you don't gotta even think about it anymore. And then the the gains just go up really fast. And then it'll get slow again. I've been um I've been trying. One of my other characters was the the Aaron. It's like two twelve, and I'm getting like apps of and doing Helux. So like slowly it's going up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just throw my free cubes at it. Do you would you say like I shouldn't invest really any large sum of money in, into the Aaron until like basically my arcanes are like 17 i'm 21 like just don't even worry about it or is it worth once i hit maybe the 20 bill mark to invest it to the point where it can at least like smoke cra and maybe do like a i don't know a 10 minute like lomian run um that's like where i've been like hesitant like i don't know when i should dump money into the errand at all uh i mean this this answer i don't know if this is a good answer but it honestly just comes down to like what you want like if you want to hyper fund your your buck then you dump it on the buck but if you're okay with you know you're interested in playing iran you want to you want to do other weeklies on another class every week then play the iran like either either option is not a bad option right so okay no no that's fair and i think that's a, a fine answer yeah like I, I can't just be like oh do this because like either one it, like it's just up to you either one is fine no i get that i guess i guess i should i guess i could just tell you the benefits of doing either so like if you dump the 20 bill on your buck you'll get stronger 
you'll contribute more to your lucid will party you'll be one step closer to you know doing black mage eventually which is nice right because you know that's what you want to do um but if you press like if you do um the 20 bell on the iran you'll make more money every week probably because you'll have another character which also helps you and you gain more fun because you're doing bosses on another class so that's fair. I'll probably hit like a med like uh, I'll probably focus on just racking up money on my main, and once I'm at like a comfortable amount, then I'll try to save up a set amount for uh, for the run, so that way it because it is fun bossing on it. Like I actually really like it. Yeah, play the run then, because why not? It'll help your account make more money every week. You do your buck and your run weeklies, basically double the income almost. Yeah, I was w kind of waiting until I finished more of the Arcane River on my buck. That way, it's less total dailies, right? Because if I finish Banshee Journey and Choo Choo on this, then when I do it on the run, then it, it's it's like about even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I was also super glad. I was watching Kobe's stream yesterday, and he was catching up. Like, he was <laughs> two, he was 248. I was like, dude, like, he started, like, 80 days ago and he's so he's like the same level as me so i was like well i guess it just goes to show how how privileged and baby easy kms is right <laughs> true true actually really true uh <laughs> yeah he's like i'm i'm in vc3 he's like in sell us and i'm like he's he's almost 250 holy shit <laughs> and he soloed he soloed normal lucid i was like he did. Holy shit, dude. He did, yeah. The hands. The hands. One HP. Jordan could never, dude. True. Jordan could <laughs> never. True. Dude, true, lost, true. True. I've lost like 25k. I've always bet on Jordan passing it and he always dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, redeem, redeem the bucks. Oh, he had three tries to do Dark Nell, bro. Like <laughs> what I do, I heard my name. Bro, it's it's what I'm... you didn't do, man. It's what you didn't do. <laughs> He he true. bet on you to clear every time. Every time every there's time, a bet. Every stream, your stream or anyone. I think maybe it was Jeff's stream. And I was like, bro. <laughs> this My guy point. is trying to look up to you, Jordan, but you're letting him down. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's I see this move, the movements. It's inspirational. I just close my eyes once he hits like one HP. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to see like a lot of the bucks are out there killing it, crushing it. Yeah, I'm slowly catching up now, and then dude, I feel yeah, like you're I'm on the rise. To scale up. Yeah, yeah, no, you'll you'll be scaling up hella fast. This is like, yeah, this is the point in the game where you're gonna start really feeling the damage, especially Legion. Like, I I can't like sleep on Legion any any like less. Like that that shit helps you so much, and you, it's something you don't even like think about. Like you don't realize how much damage Legion gives you until you, until you have it done, and then you look back and compare. And I'm like, wait, this is all just like Legion damage for free. I mean, just seeing my IED jump up, crit damage jump up, like super nice, like to see, and especially the meals. Like before, early on, the meals like one level one to one forty felt kind of rough, and now like you know they one shot pretty far into like maybe up to like level. 90 and then it slows down a little bit but even then it's like legions legions is nice um i did want to do the uh the core aura the jet link mm -hmm. you said that's like a bill right to to get that yeah to, probably like, like 35 between and 35 no 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 35 35 is very unlikely but to get like a a decent like settle like maybe both of them in the 30s uh you're looking like between like one to two bill Okay. Not not a lot of people have thirty five thirty five. Like that's like pretty hard to hit. Oh shit. Okay. I I thought it was like one to two build to get thirty five thirty five, but thirty like thirties. Okay, I'll keep that in mind so I don't overspend. Yeah, as long as you have both of them in the thirties, you're good. Sick nasty. Um, I'll keep doing that then. I'll just save up money. And then eventually bleed it over to my Aaron. And, uh, oh, I, I guess I did have a question. If, so for my, um, for my nodes, 
I mm-hmm. have um, Max Lord of the Deep and like the Buck Discord was saying um, to max out like some of the other skill nodes. Uh, but right now I I kind of have it like a scuff tri node where they would technically be 40, but I threw in an extra one. So that way, like my main bossing one is 60. Mm-hmm. I guess my question is if I, if I'm doing <laughs> bosses, it's like fine. And I'm not like really struggling for damage. Then should I throw my extra nodes at my mules or should I just finish out like my main, like, I know you said like, it's kind of like, depending on what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Cause I know like a couple hundred nodes in a mule makes them significantly stronger, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's basically the same answer. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, if you are, if you're not trying to go for anything higher then just put the nodes on a mule. But for me personally, like I would just max the nodes on the buck because it's like, it feels really nice when you have one character just completely done and it's like you actually get quite a lot stronger just by maxing your nodes so okay i would just pump the buck like if i was in your shoes honestly like i'm the type of player to just like hyper focus the buck but at the end of the day it's like up to you i think i mean overall i mean that's my goal it's just like uh obviously i want to maximize my time and my effort and i and like the Aaron is more like an afterthought. It's just like it, it's like what you said, right? This is more slow grow. Yeah. And then the Aaron's like more immediate. So it's always tempting that like, oh, I just tear a bunch of shit up and then it, it becomes way stronger. But I can also feel that like my buck is on the brink of like moving towards like at least late game, right? Where I, I'm starting to get arcanes and twenty ones. Mm-hmm. And I know it's like a huge money and time wall, but I'm clearing and I'm starting to do like hopefully start to do hard bosses. And I think that transition is is something i've been looking forward to and working towards yeah it's fun it, it's it is really fun doing those harder bosses every week so i would i would recommend it for sure all right sick well thanks amy anything else that you want me to show or go over or uh words of, wisdom? <laughs> words of wisdom uh uh Oh, another another thing is uh actually since Buck is getting stronger post Destiny, like you definitely could be doing like Lucid well uh H Lomian. Like your whole party's probably gonna get stronger, right? So if you like if you guys yeah. can do it now, like imagine after Destiny, it's gonna be way easier. That's true. That's true. I feel like we were just killing the golems too slowly and I'm like I feel like I was one of the only characters like my buck blast can hit like a little over half of lucid right so like one side yeah and i was like well if i'm just clearing like if i'm just clearing golems i feel like i'm not really doing my job as like a good dps so like it, it makes me feel kind of weird about it but if that if that's what keeps us alive and going then maybe i'll just do that hmm honestly so what's your hero, party comp uh it's a it's a hero uh was it hero kana me uh Lumi, Aaron, and and a wild hunter. Okay, well, honestly, like your your Kana and your Lumi could just like destroy the golems. Like, I don't think you should really worry about. So they should golem be bearing. golem control. Yeah, because those two can hit the whole map. Like every oh, every attack just hits the whole map. So. Okay, I'll I'll probably pitch that to them. Like, have like. Would you say, like, for a more, like, I guess, ad- we're not technically min, but kind of min damage runs, like, split the party into halves, like, have one half on one side, one half on the other, or is that just kind of... Uh, It probably doesn't matter too much. It probably doesn't matter too much. Honestly, as long as, like, everybody's just using their skills, the golem shouldn't be a problem, because most of your skills, maybe besides, like, the hero, are, like, AoE. Like, I, I wouldn't really, for you, like, just having Lord of the Deep out is probably enough. Like, you're just clearing, like, a pretty decent area around you of golems, so. And then when you use uh, Super Lord of the Deep, it just clears, like, the whole map, so. I know. I Since I'm on 90 seconds, right, like, I just throw that shit out, especially P1. Like, it yeah. doesn't really matter to me, so I'm like, I'll, I'll just do it to clear and do oh, damage. Do you have Blink? Get it, blink. Um, I actually do have Blink, and now I'm too okay, good. I can actually uh, have this equipped. 
Blink is super important for Lucid P1, especially on Buck, because like, if you if you're like, yeah for Dragon, up. yeah. Dragon kind of fucks you up, so. Yeah, if is if you're blinked, can you still get teleported or no? You can, yeah, you can. That's kind of fucked. Yeah. That's I mean, the odds are kind of low for that though. I mean, we've we have um, gotten teleported like we were behind, and then we got teleported into the fire. That kind of fucking sucked. But... Yeah, it happens to everyone. Not really much you could do about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell my party because I think we're <clears throat> we're clearing. We cleared lucid, like normal lucid, no guild skills, and a party of five, like fast as fuck. So I was like, I feel like we're strong enough for H, and now I'm the highest level, so 250, and be doing more damage. Damn, you're the backbone. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> Actually, crazy. Your party's griefing you. Okay. I mean, no shade. I'm always the highest. Me and the Wild Hunter always have the most health. The most lives. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know how Akana is dying out before you. Uh, my, my Akana does better now. Like, I think P3 will. Uh, he had... Uh, uh, I think he finished out with 5. So that was pretty good. But we have had him at, like, one one life. And that was kind of shit. But Yeah. But So your right, party he... is all Skardor members? Or... Oh, it's actually it's like half. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you like you just pick them up from your guild, or you know these um, people. So the Kana is my cousin. Um, okay. So we we duo we duo most like before we start getting stronger we duo like everything, um, like we did and and then once we got to a point where we were stronger with the solo, we'll do that. So we duo slime like end slime. Mm -hmm. Do you think, oh yeah? I was, when do you think we could like party sea slime? Oh, sea slime. <laughs> I, know, I know, like you, like even you, like you can't even like soul. And I, I know people who are high level and they like duo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not get crazy here. Of course, I can solo, but uh, <laughs> sea slime is pretty freaking hard, man. I wouldn't really look into it at the moment. Okay. Like okay, that shit is tanky as hell. Like it, it like I think it's up there with like the sea to numbers bosses. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's really annoying. This shit. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll just stay doing end slime. Then that's uh, that's not a problem. But yeah, the the rest what happened was like the Scarter, uh, Discord. Like I was just trying to find a party instead of like just hopping into random mega parties. Yeah, we were posting, and this one guy was like, "Hey, like here's a Discord just for like basically Lucid and Will parties." Uh huh. And uh, and then I picked up someone who turned out to be from the Scarter Guild. And then uh, just other people who are just asking in there. And then a couple randos from Osmega. I invited them to that Discord. And then Ooh, now... it's kind of risky. And then now, no, well, they, they did pretty good. Uh, the weird one was, like, we had a 255 Adele. Didn't know, like, will mechanics. But he was so strong that he, like, uh -huh. won first every phase. Uh-huh. That's kind of sus, bro. Yeah, he was mad strong, though. He was like, I don't know will mechanics, but he one-shot him every phase. I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? Yeah. So now, like, that guy's not in our party because his time doesn't work with us. But, yeah, we have a, our full party, so we're running tomorrow. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Praise that it goes well, and... Uh, get a drop and keep progressing bro yeah literally On, oh yeah that's the other thing like running will that's 2x the chance to get a weapon so yeah you said it's weapon shoulder from will everything else from lucid um yeah weapon and shoulder from will and then yeah the rest are lucid so so that just means like if i get if i get a drop then i only need the shoulder from will and then yep. buy the rest from lucid given that i don't get a drop yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. And what about, um, last question? This is the, because I actually have to run. Oh, um, you're good. You're good. Um, this I could convert to a drop ring, technically, because I have like the reinforce, the superior. Um, it, is it worth to get a Meister as like a filler, like damage ring and convert this to Nepris to a drop ring? Uh, yes. Yes. You should get an actual damage ring to replace that, but. 
since it's already 27 percent like um yeah it, it, it'll be good for a long time so there's no re there's no need to like uh replace it anytime soon because uh technically i was like i could get like a meister and use that as a drop ring and keep this as my pseudo damage because the stats on this is what like a 17 equivalent right and it's 27 so. yeah honestly just replace with like you could just replace with like slime ring like don't That's even bother with my long-term goal was yeah like, just like wait till a slime do that oh you guys could do normal slime if you want like you guys could do yeah. normal slime i do chaos. i do a normal slime oh okay uh, okay I, I i probably could solo it but my burst isn't that good i, I just dps it the whole time but yeah, yeah. i don't want to run like a 20 minute slime i'd rather just do it in 10 with my kana yeah that's fine well thanks sammy um that was a lot thanks for celebrating my 250. yeah of guys. course dude and congrats again thank you first f first big step on the journey to be number one buck actually number, number two because you know number one's kind of impossible but uh, the bait i know i know i know you and brando fight for number one yeah we're, we're kind of in a heated uh <laughs> contention right now one thinks meltdown's op the other one thinks it does, it's not but there's only one who's right and it's me well, have a good stream, bro. Uh, I got to go uh, help my parents. All right. Good luck, buddy. So, and uh, thanks for yeah. pulling up. Good luck, with the, uh, good luck with the rest of the stream. And don't farm too hard. <laughs> I, don't know, I can't make any promises, but thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, might, I might help with your MVP red goal uh, later with a fashion story review. I need to get dripped out, bro. Oh, Pog. Okay. I got you, buddy. I got you. How much do I got to spend, man? To get dripped Ooh. out. Ooh. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Dude, getting dripped out in this game literally takes longer than getting endgame. Because you have to wait it. years for items to come back. And it's also... It's real world mesos, man. Yeah, it is. It is. So <laughs> there's like a there's like a social hierarchy aspect here, too. I'm trying to get like a minimum, minimum drippiness because... <laughs> I see you roast everyone, and I'm like, I'm not much better. Dude, the thing is, like, it's hard. Like, there's a reason I'm roasting everybody. Like, it's hard to have a good fit. Like, th there's literally only, like, two kinds of endgame fits. You either, like, have something so ass that it's just, like, but you've been wearing it for so long, so everybody knows it's yours. So that's, like, valid in one way because everybody knows it's you. For example, Jordan, perfect example. Like, who the fuck would wear the <laughs> Speedo, right? Ass. Yeah, like, who would wear... Who would want to look like that? But since he does it and he's been doing it for so long, it's just iconic at this point and it's a valid outfit. But like... Speedo gang. Yeah, or you could just look at like like models, like Maple models. They're just like... what? Imagine if there was like Vogue on Maple or something. It's like, okay, what are these models wearing? And then you just copy their look. And then they all look the same, but it's like you still look good. I don't know. I want something like in between, you know? I don't want to go super super fashion sweat like henny ho full status but i don't want to be uh i i don't know if i'm down for the speedo gang sorry <laughs> jordan damn that's okay well i'll hit you up for that i gotta run so have yeah of shame, course dude. of course go help your parents thank you buddy speedo gives 30 fd okay that's actually true <laughs> 